Well, when Tredavious White suffered a season-ending season injury, m members of Bills Mafia decided to rally once again behind that player. The organization Bills Mafia Babes thought the best way to do this was to show some love to White's hometown, and it's led to more than $120,000 being raised. Joining us now live is Kristen Kimmick, the president of Bills Mafia Babes. Kristen, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Guys, thank you so much for having me. How are you? Doing very well, thank you. Can we talk about how incredible over $120,000 raised? I mean, Bill's Mafia really stepped up as they always do. Kristen, what was your initial reaction when you saw just how much was donated? Honestly, I, I couldn't believe it. Um, I, 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 Bill's Mafia has done this over and over and over, and just the, the feeling when you see it and being involved in it just will never get old. So why, does, why did you decide to organize this particular uh, charity? Folks may not know the connection between Trey and this particular charity. So Trey is actually from Shreveport, um, where this charity originates. So I was actually in the game in New Orleans, and when he was injured, um, received a, a message from Lara McKee, who is the vice president of the Bills Mafia Babes, alongside of me. Um, and her and the rest of the team actually got to work at that point, figuring out what charity exactly it was that Trey, you know, endorses. Um, they d did some reach outs and identified that it was, you know, the northern New or the northern Louisiana food pantry. Um, and we just kind of started pumping that out into the, the Twitter universe, and it took off from there. <laughs> So talk to us a little bit about Bill's Mafia Babes in general. I know each month you select a different player's charity to drive donations to. What's the plan for this month? So this month we're actually going to be working for the month of December with Dion Dawkins, supporting his Dion Dreamers. Um, in the past, we actually just wrapped up working with Emmanuel Sanders for the month of November. Um, prior to that, we've worked with Micah Hyde, uh, um, Harrison Phillips, uh, Jordan Poyer, and um, Brandon and Haley Bean supporting their Bill's Mafia organization as well. So Trey has responded once he saw all of those amazing donations just roll into his charity. Obviously, he's incredibly grateful uh, for that effort. I imagine that is a similar response you might get from some of the other players. What did it feel like knowing that not only are you going to help um, this charity with six-figure donation, but also how grateful um, you know, Trey is for, for all of this outpouring of support? You know, it, it really means the world because I think that um, this Bills team is different than every other year that we've really experienced. You know, the team that we've got right now, it, it just feels different. Their relationships feel different with each other, but also their relationships with the fans. And when you're speaking about an athlete, it can be very difficult to find a way to show them how much they truly mean to you and the community. Um, and I just love that Bill's Mafia has embraced this way because we're not just helping those players and, and showing them our love. We're really helping so many other people in, in multiple communities and, you know, not just Buffalo, but also other places where it's so, so severely needed. Well said. Yeah. Couldn't put it more perfectly. <laughs> Kristen Kimmick, president of Bill's Mafia Babes, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kristen.